I'm Robin Higgins, and this is atoms with imbalances in their ionic charges. Okay, so let's take a look at a typical atom. Now, this atom is going to have six protons, and it's going to have six neutrons. So, because it has six protons, we know that this is going to be carbon because we decide what element we have by the number of protons. And now this particular element is also going to have six electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six protons that each have a charge of plus one equals a total charge of plus six. It also has six electrons, which used to have a charge of negative one, so a total charge of negative six. So, overall, the charge of this atom is zero. So there's no imbalance in this atom, but let's take a look at something else which does have an imbalance. So if we do something that has nine, protons, and let's say it also has nine neutrons, then this is going to be identified as fluorine. Now, fluorine is really electronegative, and so it often tries to get other electrons. So let's say this uh, atom has succeeded and now, on its first string, it's going to have two electrons, because it's full, and then on its next string, it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. So a total of 10 electrons. Now this guy, he has nine protons, each with plus one, so a total of plus nine, and he has 10 electrons, each with minus one, so a total of minus 10. So the overall charge of this atom is negative one. So now when we have a charge that's not zero, if it's positive or negative, we call this an ion. And so an ion can be negative and it'll be charged, it'll be called an anion. And if it's positive, it's called a cation. Just a little fun fact, if it's carbon and it's positive, it's called a carbocation. It has a fun little nickname. So basically, if there is an imbalance in the number of electrons and protons, it'll just create an overall charge that's not neutral, and we just call it an ion. It's no big deal. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been What Happens When an Atom Has an Imbalance in the Number of Protons and Electrons. Thank you.